What's up, motherfucks? Um, driving back from helping someone out for 20 bucks. So, I mean, life's good. I'm glad I live in a small enough town that that's a thing. Got my nigga squirrels with me. You know, I'm going to start listening to Bring Me the Horizon. No, see, I'm not lying. Just saying. Um, their new album is fucking amazing. I know I made a video for, like, teardrops, just kind of, like, being in awe of how perfect it was and how it's, it's kind of basically exactly how I feel as an adult. But, like, their one song, One by One, I guess it's with this these two girls called the Nova Twins. I hella thought it was the girl from fucking Dream State, but it's not. Um, all women sound alike, you know? I don't know. I don't know why, but, uh, but, like, dude, fucking when the One Butterfly song came on and Amy Lee starts singing it, it's just, like, instant, like, what's the, what's the, like, you know, what's the term for, like, boner that I can use properly? Um insta wet i don't know <laughs> uh, you know i guess you guys will never know whether i have a dick or not so just let it wander that's nothing to do with this but i'm just saying um fuck though it was just like nothing could be more fucking perfect than that i think that was probably to me like the heaviest song because there's so much pain and emotion in fucking amy's and ollie's voice it was just too perfect you know you ever get something where it's too perfect that doesn't happen that often um fuck apparently they even went through some like legal trouble which isn't super relevant but i mean i guess every everything ends out in a positive way you know whatever but yeah that fucking whole album the one by one song i love teardrops obviously um obey with young blood made me a huge fucking young young blood fan now i love his new fucking album um and most of his shit you know it's just interesting it's like they're actually bringing like some old school like shit and new people to like lie or not new but new to a different audience like me and now i have new loves of shit you know so uh, bring me the horizon yeah i had fucking amazing album it's amazing that you can go from suicide seasons to this and both be like you're a fucking huge name in deathcore there and now you're just like i don't even know what this is but it's like a new era that like them and machine gun kelly and young blood and all these other motherfuckers are kind of, kind of doing, and good for you guys for not dying, you know, because, like, that Sugar, Honey, Ice, and Tea song, I didn't, couldn't get into it at first, but then after I heard it a couple times and understood it, you know, like, you fucking taste like shit, you know, I was hooked. God, I'm sexy. <laughs> it's all burping and shit over here. Um, but yeah, holy fucking shit, man. Bring Me the Horizon, go listen to them, go listen to all their shit. Because, see, one of my first Bring Me the Horizon song was, like, it's like the one talking about sucking dick and fuck, what was it? You fucking stupid whore, suck my dick. What the fuck was it? Like making out with Medusa. That was the first video. And then Chelsea smile and blah, 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 blah. You know? But yeah, it's it's nice to see a band grow with you. Kind of like Marilyn Manson. They used kind of, but I don't know. I can't get into all of their shit, but their last album was pretty good. But short, sweet, and to the point, which none of this. But uh, fuck yeah, go listen to every Bring Me the Horizon song ever.